Hello students this is Dr Amar Preet Kaur a lecturer from Jammu and Kashmir Education Department today's topic is inheritance of one gene before going ahead i want to make you familiar with some important terms that are often used in genetics the first one is gene gene is known as a unit of heredity what does that mean when we say a character is transferred from parent to the child what does that mean that mean a gene is responsible and a gene has transferred from parent to the child this term gene for the first time it was introduced by johansson the spelling of johansson is j o h a l n s e n but it is pronounced as johansson okay now alleles alleles uh, are you can say allele it is a variant of a gene depending upon the nature of organism and what kind of nature it is if an organism is a uh, diploid a uh, triploid or tetrapoloid so the number of alleles are number of variants of a gene they increase for example in an diploid organism there are two alleles in triploid triploid organism three alleles are present and in tetrapoloid four alleles are present the term allele it was coined by batson for making you more clear i will explain with the help of a very simple example students what is technically happening when a child is born okay there is fusion of gametes you cannot say gametes but chromosomes and on chromosomes these alleles are present for any character for example height for height one allele or you can say one chromosome is from father and another chromosome is from mother and these chromosomes they contain the different forms of gene okay maybe the mother is containing uh, the allele that denotes or that characterize the dwarfness or short height of a individual while the character or allele that is transferred from parent from male parent for the height is tall okay so for a single gene we have two alleles or you can say two variants clear students in genetics we use capital t to denote tall trait okay a tallness character and small t for dwarfness clear so we have two alleles now capital t and small d okay one question to all of you how how many possible combination of these two alleles can be formed any guess okay i'm going to tell you firstly first combination that is capital t capital t okay because the organism is diploid so only two alleles this is the one form the second one can be small t and small t okay and the third one will be a mix of these two alleles that is capital t and small t clear the capital t and capital t and the other form small t and small t 
they are known as homozygous okay because both the alleles are of same and this term homozygous it was coined by batson and saunders now the other form that is capital t and small t it is a hybrid because both the alleles they are different and it is known as heterozygous okay what it is known heterozygous and again the same people batson and saunders they have coined this term clear now genotype and phenotype okay genotype is the genetic makeup of an individual what does that mean that mean if an organism is capital t capital t or small t small t and the third condition that is capital t and small t this is genotype whenever i say what is the genotype of an organism or a plant or anything you can say i am talking only about the genetic makeup that is i am asking about the alleles okay now phenotype phenotype is the morphological appearance the outer appearance for example i will say is this plant tall or dwarf this is phenotype the outer appearance the the other terms that are important in genetics is dominant and recessive students take the example of a heterozygous plant okay in heterozygous plant take the character of height for example we will take tt capital t and small t okay capital t it denotes to tallness and small t it characterizes the dwarfness when we say capital t is dominant allele in a gene okay what does that mean that mean that means only capital t in an plant in a plant will be expressed while the small t will not be able to express itself so overall the plant will be tall however if small t i am giving you example however it is not possible in this uh, genetics uh, we always use the small word for denoting the recessive characters but here for example if small t is the dominant character and capital t will be the recessive character so the plant will be the plant having both the alleles capital t and small t it will be dwarf okay because small t it will be dominant clear so with this you have almost um got the meaning of all the terms one is gene allele homozygous heterozygous genotype phenotype dominant and recessive now i will continue with the topic that is inheritance of one gene the study of inheritance of single pair of contrasting traits are alleles okay of a character at a time is called one gene inheritance okay when we are studying only one character for example height it is known as study of one gene inheritance for the first time it was studied by mendel okay mendel crossed a true breeding of tall variety of p with true breeding of dwarf variety okay of pea plant these plants they were denoted by p1 and p2 since pea plant is self fertilizing 
or plant so the removal of anthers was mandatory okay so what we did we did removal of anthers and this step is known as emasculation clear now what we did we performed the cross pollination what does that mean we brought the pollen grains from a male parent and we dusted it on the stigma of emasculated flower the first generation of the plants is known as afron progeny or filial first clear then mandel cultivated or you can say germinate the seeds of f1 generation and what he found was really interesting he found that all the plants were tall okay then next step was followed what he did in this step was selfing selfing means self pollinations plants were allowed to self pollinate and we had a generation of f2 or you can say filial 2 and when these seeds are seeds of f2 generation were sowed in the soil and the plants that arise and we had a result and that result was very interesting because not all the plants were tall but we had a mixture of tall and dwarf plants and the ratio was 3 is to 1 okay we had three uh, parts of tall plant and only one part of dwarf plant clear mandel he performed same experiments with other characters for example he took flower color flower position pod shape pod color seed shape and seed color in consideration and performed the experiment okay and fortunately he got the same results okay as the results were in height for example in when he took the character of flower color okay in f1 generation all the flowers they were violet when he took the flower position in consideration all the flowers they were violet okay in flower position axel position so axel and terminal so axel was um, in f1 generation so similarly the results were same and in f2 the ratio was 3 is to 1 okay for example seed color we have two seed colors one is yellow and green but in f1 generation all the seeds were yellow but in f2 they were in ratio 3 is to 1 clear thank you for listening to my lecture in case you have any question or any query you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetkaur.com and you can post over there and you can also listen to some of previous lectures thank you